Hey everyone, it's Alan. Back in 2019, I went to Ripa Villa in Spring Hill, Tennessee. If you aren't familiar with Ripa Villa, the house was used as a hospital during the Civil War, and in the 1960s, it was a brothel where a local prostitute was killed. The day I went to Ripa Villa, I met with a local paranormal investigator, as well as some of the staff members there, to talk to them about some of the experiences in the house. They've heard voices, footsteps, and other strange noises upstairs. One of the creepiest stories they told me took place downstairs in the music room. Down there is a piano that plays all by itself. Anyway, as I was wrapping up, I was upstairs in Tom's room, which is believed to be one of the most active parts of the mansion. I made a comment about wanting to hear from Sarah or Tom, both of which are spirits that generally hang out there on the second floor. Here's what I picked up. I wish Tom or Sally or somebody said something to us before we left. Did you catch it? I'll play it again. I wish Tom or Sally or somebody said something to us before we left. Okay, one more time. I wish Tom or Sally or somebody said something to us before we left. To me, it sounds like a breath, but the weird thing is that whatever it was, it didn't inhale, then exhale like someone taking a normal breath. After I discovered I recorded something kind of strange, I reached out to the investigator I met with thinking maybe it was her. She got back with me a short time later and told me that the breath didn't come from her. In fact, she told me that people have captured someone breathing upstairs in previous investigations. I'll be posting more of these in the coming weeks. Be sure to check out Southern Ghost Stories podcast as well as some of the books I've written. They're available on Amazon.com as well as Pickled Treats and Antiques in Gallatin, Tennessee.